There's a fish. Oh, this is a nice one. Holy cow, it's a giant. What is going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another episode of the Tiny Lure Challenge. Today's episode is going to feature these three really cool tiny little crankbaits I found on eBay. They came from Japan so they were actually pretty expensive. It took a few weeks for them to arrive but they finally got here and today I'm going to be putting them to the test and hopefully catching some fish. I have the most natural of the three tied on. The water is pretty clear. It's actually the, the most clear I've ever seen it at this pond so uh, I think this one's gonna do the best. It's actually a little translucent too. I'm excited to see what the action looks like though. The one thing I was not expecting is that it's actually a wake bait. So this is a topwater bait, but it has a really nice topwater action. Oh, there's a fish. There we go. All right, a little bass. See you later, buddy. I'm not gonna lie guys. I was pretty surprised that this is a topwater lure, but it has a very good action. And I'm really digging these, this, uh, this paint job. So I think it's going to do pretty well today. Oh, there's a fish. Holy cow. This is a really nice sunfish. See you later, buddy. There's a fish. Oh, this is a nice one. Holy cow, it's a giant. Oh, it's a giant. Holy smokes. Please stay on. Please stay on. Oh, it's a giant. This is a very big bass. Yes! Oh, holy cow, you guys. It is a monster. What? Biggest bass of the year for sure. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. See you later, buddy. So, so awesome. You guys, I cannot believe that just happened. Every time I go fishing with my ultralight, I dream of catching a giant bass. I hooked into them, but they always break off, which is super frustrating. That was not the case today. I was finally able to land one, and I just feel very pumped and lucky that I caught that fish. And it happened on this little Japanese wake bay. So this is gonna be a day that I remember for a very long time, but I'm gonna keep fishing, see what else I can catch, but I am just so pumped right now. Oh, here we go. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> this is a giant bluegill. Holy smokes. This guy fought like a champ. See you later, buddy. I actually caught that last bluegill pretty much in the middle of the pond. I'm seeing these small bait fish congregating towards the surface so I just pretty much cast it right into the bait pool and let it sit there for just a little bit started twitching it and that that guy just came up and nailed it so I'm gonna try that retrieve again see if I can catch another one because uh, that was actually a lot of fun oh 
Dang it, lost it. I think that was a bass. Darn. Well guys, it's getting pretty dark and chilly out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Today honestly feels like a dream. I cannot believe I was finally able to catch a big bass using my ultralight. And those Japanese lures actually performed quite nicely. When I found out they were top water, I was actually pretty disappointed, but uh, they had a really nice action to them and they caught fish. So if I could find them on eBay, I will link them in the description if you guys are interested. Anyways, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one.